welcome back to another STEM kit tutorial video with Feeding Minds and Family and GUBotDev. In this video, we're going to be going over the UV sterilizer that is included with our most recent activity kit. So in this kit here, you're going to have two short pieces, two long pieces, one top piece with all the lettering on it, some super glue, an LED strip, as well as a couple pairs of gloves that will help you keep the glue off of your fingers. So to start out this activity, we're going to set the side pieces off to the side as well as the glue and attach the LED strip to the top of the top piece. To do this, the LED strip has a piece of adhesive tape on the back that you simply have to peel the backing off of now the back of the LED LED strip can simply be pressed onto the the top try and make sure that it's centered within the board and that the cable runs out in between the holes on either of the sides and simply press it into place and it's good to go. Now we can go ahead and set this off to the side and we'll start assembling the base pieces. So for this you'll need your super glue as well as the, the rest of the pieces. So we'll start by opening up the super glue. So these simply unscrew and have a, a nozzle on the tip that allows you to apply it but you actually have to take the entire applicator tip off first and there's a little piece of foil over the tip here that needs to get punctured open. There's a small, a small point on the, the tip of the applicator. You can just press into it and it opens up the tip of the super glue. Now you can put the applicator back on and you're ready to apply the glue that you need. At this point you can put your gloves on. Um, just try and be careful not to get the glue anywhere. It is super glue and dries pretty quickly. Um, so do your best to, to keep it only on the surfaces that you need it. You don't need to apply much, just a couple dabs in the places that you need will do it. Um, and then you have to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds solidly, and then you don't want to touch it for about 10 minutes to let it really, really cure. Um, and then it will be solid. So we'll start by taking one of the long pieces and applying a small drop of glue in between the holes on either side and we'll take the two long piece or the two short pieces and it helps to get this up off the ground a little bit and we're going to place these into the holes here and hold them in place for about 10 seconds okay now these will be tacked in place a little bit. Um, you do want to be careful with them still since that this glue does take about 10 minutes to completely dry. At this point it does also help to have something that you can rest this on. So I just have this little roll of tape here that I'm just going to set set this assembly on because the, the short pieces stick through the long side a little bit so they need to be up off the table slightly. Now we can take the other long piece and apply the same glue to the same points in between the holes. We'll flip this over and place it onto the top. And you can kind of squeeze it together a little bit. Just be careful not to get glue on yourselves and don't you don't have to squeeze too hard, just enough to clamp it in place. And we'll hold it here for about 10 seconds as well. Okay, now the base of the box should be held together a little bit loosely. You can take whatever you're using to hold it up and set it away. Now this will dry a lot more solidly in about, about a 10 to 15 minutes, um, but for now it should be tacked in place all right. So what we're going to do now is glue the top onto the base. So for this, 
you really just need to dab glue in a couple different places along the outside um, where the, the top will come in contact with the base. So I'm just going to do a little bit along the corners and along the long edges here. And you can take your top and line it up with all the, the posts and press it down. And again, you want to hold it in place for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you can seal your glue up because you'll be done with that. At this point, your box will be assembled. Again, you want to treat it somewhat gently for the next 10 to 15 minutes, um, or simply just let it go for a little bit to let that glue cure up. Then your box will be fairly solid. At that point, you can plug in your LED strip to pretty much any USB power source, a cell phone charger, into a, like a laptop or a computer, um, anything that has a, a USB port. This will power on your LEDs, um, which will emit the, the UV light, which will actually do the sterilization. Um, you do want to be careful with this. As it says on the box, don't look directly at the lights as UV light can be harmful to your eyes. Um, anything you place under here is going to be okay. It's a fairly um, low power UV light, so it's not going to do damage very quickly, but over a longer period of time, it will actually do the sterilization that it's meant to do. So with that, your UV sterilizer box is finished. The rest of the activity manual will show you how you're going to use this with the other activities. So we hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching the video, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your activity kit.